can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Here he is, the undisputed baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight champion. And man, does he have all the confidence and the self-belief that comes with that distinction. Yeah, when you're the baddest man on the planet, you are confident. You have to be a bit arrogant, a bit cocky. And that's what this guy has. He has been here on so many different occasions. This is like another night in the office, but you can never tell by the way that he prepares. When you watch him prepare, he treats every one of these defenses as, as if it's the first time he's fighting for a UFC championship. No, you put that well. He has had that patented intensity about him this week, trying to occupy some headspace in the challenger. Huge heavyweight title fight is upon us. Won't be long now, folks. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed USC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. Presenting the challenger, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, Lee. Herb Dean, our referee for Ray. this one. Ready. Good. Well, what a visual this is. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one, the founding father of modern mixed martial arts. It's hard to simulate his speed and his striking in training. And I think that's something that has been a big focus for the opponent coming in here tonight. Quick with his hands, quick with his feet, and obviously a guy who gets off to a very good start more often than not. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one. Headshot, bang! Make the bad man stop. Just out of range with that right hook. Elbow attempt now, that one blocked by Lee. Attempts the front kick there. Oh, pretty good technique as he lands the sidekick, DC. Real nice technique to land that sidekick. He did a great job of getting that leg up and then right to the target. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Kickboxing 101. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Back kick there. Beautiful job getting those hands up. Oh, nice counter punch there. Again, we talked about the reach advantage off the top of the show. Certainly paid dividends for him there. Oh, that couldn't have felt good as 
he lands the knee to the body. He's a tall fighter and he's going to have the size advantage against most opposition in this division. Just over three minutes here to go round one. Back to his patented kicks here, but just out of range. Planted his fire there, landed to the body. Oh, straight punch, lands flush on the counter. Nice deception with his footwork, and again, we're a broken record when it comes to the reach advantage. Certainly helped him out there. Oh, it's up to that kick. Circling to his right. And just misses with that big right hand. <laughs> well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. Missed with that right hand. Oh, nice straight punch there by Lee. Let your hands go. Let Under two minutes to go. Oh, he lands a hook there, DC. That was one of his more significant lands of the fight. He can land that strike over and over again. Oh, how clean is that? Nice strike. Let's go. You can do this. Keep going. He loaded up there on that high kick. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Well, that's one way to take advantage of an edge in reach. Beautiful connection with that punch. Real quick leg kick. Checks the leg kick. Under a minute to go in our opening round. Oh, and he caught the kick. Now some spacing as they exit the clinch. Oh, big Superman punch there. Oh, so the taller fighter lands a knee yet again. Oh, and he lands another knee there. DC it doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it most certainly did. Lands the sidekick now. Hands high, hands high. Oh, and so now he lands another combination, so it's never just one shot. Whoa! Final seconds of round one. So there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we are, early round two. All right, so here we go with our next round. In the previous round, he rocked his opponent pretty good. We'll see if he can piggyback on that momentum. Let's see if he can continue the onslaught, right? He had his opponent hurt real bad, but he cannot rush. He still has to understand that a live fighter is in front of him. Otherwise, he'll find himself on the wrong side of a knockdown. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Oh my God. Lee's looking to pass here, denied by the opponent.
beautiful ground strikes landing. in half court. Making all these shots count. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. He continues to land a high volume of strikes on his opponent at will. Well, I mean, John, the guy can fight everywhere. And he can fight everywhere, meaning he can fight on the ground, he can fight in the stand-up, but he's also able to do it because his cardio is so good. Right. This is one of the best fighters that we have seen for a long time, and it is showing in this performance. Beautiful kick to the body. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. We march on three minutes to go. You wonder if the offensive fighter's gonna start to get frustrated here. Most, if not all, of these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. His work. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Oh, nasty cut right on the bridge of the nose. He is bleeding. I might let you kick the inside of my leg after the show. No. See how that feels. You don't want that, J.A. You do not want that. No one wants uh -uh. that. Even trained professional fighters right. can't take too many of those strikes. Well, he was knocked down by his opponent earlier in the round, and I'm not sure he's mentally back in this fight. Well, it's hard to build back from something like that. But as you watch, he's trying, but we don't know what type of dialogue is going on within, his, within himself right now in regards to him believing or not having much confidence in his approach to his fight. All right, well, he's had his striking on point tonight, and as evidence, some swelling now on his opponent. He had light swelling right now, but if he doesn't address it immediately, it'll turn to something much worse. 90 seconds to go now. Straight right, he misses. Oh! Well, some fighters, when they get cracked in the mouth, they respond well. He got stunned earlier in the round and hasn't really recovered or gotten back into things. People react differently, right? Some people just get back going. He's having a hard time building his way back into this fight. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Great job getting that kick home. Nice body kick. Well, his hook shot is blocked. Saw that coming from a mile away. Oh, he landed. He hurt Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy... He's hurt. He's hurt. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right oh. now... The focus needs to be on the head movement so you're not getting hit in that cut. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. Ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here and... Oh, my goodness! Oh, my goodness! Nice shot there by the champ. Well, the ground 
ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Lee. Another one. I mean, he cannot miss from the top position. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Oh, is that a big move? The body will see if he can follow up. Like that. Like that. That was stuck in. Nice strike. Throwing that jab now again. The fight is in. Big right hook coming. It's plus. So the fight. Oh, another knockdown. Big big strikes continue to land. Back to his feet. Now, well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, my God! That is going to do it! Oh. Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. We now go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 57 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. So the legend Bruce Lee does it again. That was 